connective tissue proper. Main questions of the unit. Connective tissues consist of cells and big amount of intercellular matrix, which consist of fibers, ground substance and tissue fluid. Connective tissues can be divided into connective tissue proper, fibrous and special, and skeletal, cartilage and bone. Classification of connective tissue proper. They can be divided into two groups, fibrous connective tissue, loose, where fibers situated loosely and dense fibers situated densely. Dense connective tissue may be regular if fibers situated irregularly go on in parallel and irregular when fibers situated unregularly going in all three directions and second type specialized connective tissue reticular adipose pigment and mucose loose areolar fibrous connective tissue it contain up to 10 types of cells and a lot of intercellular substance which consist of some loosely situated fibers collagen and elastic and also reticular and big amount of amorphous ground substance stain in yellow here in this picture visible fat cells parasites macrophages fibroblast plasma cells mast cells fibroblasts predominant cell type responsible for synthesis of intercellular substance both ground substance and fibers this cell contain well-developed endoplasmic reticulum especially rough well-developed Golgi complex mitochondria this electronogram demonstrate also collagen fibrils longitudinal and transverse section fibroblasts produce extracellular matrix component they produce procollagen for collagen and reticular fibers and proteins and carbohydrates for ground substance is the reason why these cells have no distinct cell borders. There are also inactive fibroblasts, fibrocytes. They cannot produce intercellular matrix anymore. They contain few organelles. They like aged cells, pensioners. They are located in intercellular matrix which was produced by those cells when they are younger and active. My fibroblasts, special fibroblasts which can produce uh, intercellular matrix and in addition contain actin filaments like smooth muscle cells and they can contract and participate in a retraction of scar tissues. Microphages derived from blood monocytes. The main function phagocytosis and presentation 
of antigen on the surface. Presentation to lymphocytes. They have distinct cell borders, these microvilles and pseudopodia. It's for phagocytosis. They can catch bacteria and foreign particles who digest them using the enzymes of numerous lysosomes. So you can find here numerous lysosomes, phagolysosome plasma cells derived from B lymphocytes and produce antibodies. Antibodies are gamma globulins, immunoglobulins, so proteins. It's the reason why those cells have a lot of rough endoplasmic reticulum for biosynthesis of proteins for export. And it's the reason why they have good gistochemical staining for RNA. For exception, for a small region, small region, light yard or light sport or macul. This region contains no ribosomes because it corresponds to the Golgi complex. This is a plasma cell under transmission electron microscope. The nucleus contain specific chromatin clumps, clumps of chromatin, located in the nucleus like car wheel. Good developed rough endoplasmic reticulum for protein synthesis for experts and pronounced Golgi complex to release proteins, antibodies. Mast cells called tissue basophils because they contain a lot of large basophilic metachromatic granules containing gistamine and heparin, like in blood basophils, basophil leukocytes, granulocytes. And these granules visible quite well under scan electron microscopy. This is mast cells, these granules, and this is mast cell after degranulation. Then uh, mast cells release granules. Uh, antigens initiate the process of degranulation because mast cells contain a lot of specific receptors to immunoglobulins on the surface in plasma membrane. And antigens are connected to these immunoglobulins and it initiate the cascade of biochemical reactions, release of calcium ions, and degranulation, and release of histamine, heparin, and many other biologically active substances into the matrix, and it initiate inflammation and allergic reactions. Adventitial cells, spindle-like cells located along the small blood vessels, for example blood capillary. You see erythrocytes and leukocytes inside. This picture also demonstrates Mast cells with big basophil granules, fibroblast, which produce matrix component, macrophage, which catch bacteria, 
and phagocytic and also plasma cell is light spot and several leukocytes pigment cells or melanocytes produce pigment inclusion melanin which provide the brown color to tissues and protect tissues from danger action of ultraviolet light. Parasites located in the wall of blood capillary it may contract and stop blood flow in blood capillary then relax and blood flow start again so they can regulate the blood flow in blood capillaries in this picture also visible the leukocytes immigrating from blood to carry out their function in loose connective tissue and this is particularly the moment when leukocyte uh, go through the wall of blood capillary and here visible collagen and elastic fibers as well as plasma cell macrophages basophils fat cells and so on fat cells or adipocytes or lipocytes the uni Local adipose cells containing one big drop of fat in cytoplasm. In this case, stain by Sudan uh, 3 in orange. This fat push the nucleus and organelles into periphery and these cells contain the flattened nucleus. Uh, fat dissolved in organic solvents during the making of common histological preparation so adipocytes look empty and it looks like a jewelry ring this small blue stone. Intercellular substance consists of fibers, collagen, reticulum, and elastic amorphous ground substance and tissue fluid. Collagen fibers strong, striated and making the bundles. This is one collagen fibril under electron microscope. You see light and dark bands and protofibrils or microfibrils inside. Structure of the collagen fibril and fiber. Initially, fibroblasts produce and release procollagen molecules into intercellular matrix. And they convert it to tropa collagen and these tropical collagen molecules self-ensemble in such a way that there is a gap between one tail and head of the next molecule. The gaps and overlaps provide light and dark bending of collagen. Elastic fibers may be stretched without breaking like rubber. They do not display periodicity and they thin branching and run single, not in bundles, contrary to collagen fibers. They contain amorphous core made of protein elastin which produced by fibroblasts 
and the score of Philistines surrounded by microfibrils made of glycoprotein fibrillin also produced by fibroblasts and the molecules of elastin contain transverse bridges this network in relaxed state shorter and then it's stretched it's longer there is also reticular fibers they consist of specific collagen fibers from collagen type 3 they're thinner branching and do not run in bundles and stain by silver opposite to collagen fibers amorphous ground substance stain in this picture by yellow constitutes a gel-like and spongy matrix in which the fibers collagen and elastic fibers and cells are embedded and through which the tissue fluid circulates and metabolites go in between blood capillaries and cells ground substance consists of proteoglycans glucose minor glucans and glycoproteins proteoglycans contain the protein core connecting these numerous molecules of glucose amino glycans and hyaluronic acid also participate in those complexes dense connective tissue may be irregular and irregular in regular dense fibrous connective tissue fibers go in irregular in parallel like in tendon upper nevros fascia the bundle of collagen fibers surrounded by fibrocytes produce bundle one bundles one surrounded by loose connective tissue layer which call endotenon and a group of bundles two may be covered by also loose connective tissue called peritonin in irregular connective tissue fibers go in irregularly in all three di directions for example in a reticular layer of dermis this is a dense regular connective tissue longitudinal section under a light microscope you see the bundles one separated by fibrocytes this rod shaped nuclei this is a bundle one separated by fibrocytes and this is a bundle two surrounded by and the turn on loose connective tissue scepter connective tissues with special properties located in special organs or places only and they contain one predominant type of cells reticular tissue consist of reticular cells connected to these processes and reticular fibers these provide the network the environment for developing blood cells in organs of hemopoiesis and immunogenesis like bone marrow lymph node 
spleen and tonsils adipose tissue may be white and brown white adipose tissue consists of unilocular cells contain one big drop of fat but this fat under staining visible in the section of fresh frozen tissues because in organic solvents during the making the histological preparation the lipids dissolved in organic dissolvents and these adipose cells became empty this is a white adipose tissue brown adipose tissue contain nuclei in the center of cells they contain only the numerous small droplets of fat in cytoplasm they are visible under electron microscope and there are also numerous mitochondria in cytoplasm brown adipose tissue responsible for heating of the newborns they oxidize organic compounds and obtain energy not converted to adenosine tree phosphate but release free for heating of blood and body it necessary for human newborns as well as for animals which sleep during the winter in cold for example a Russian bear pigment tissue consists of pigment cells melanocytes which produce mm, pigment inclusion melanin and this tissue available in skin of scrotum are also mammary glands iris of eye these regions have brown color mucous connective tissue available only in embryogenesis in the um, umbilical cord of fetus it surrounding the umbilical vessels of fetus and call Vartone's jelly consist of specialized fibroblasts a few collagen fibers and a lot of gel-like ground substance Mesenheim is embryonic connective tissue it occupies the space between gem layers for example ectoderm and nerve tube hold digestive tubes it consists of spindle-like cells these processes and ground substance Mesenheim is the source of all connective tissues in embryogenesis